I welcome you guys back to my next video and now today is a very important episode for you because there's some things in life that you have to understand. I mean you must understand that what's important every single day is focusing on communicational skills but also making sure that you can borrow money from the banks and then making sure how to utilize your money every single day so you can go and deliver something that you love. I understand that what's important every single day is focusing on your money and your money management. So if you understand today that many people are going to the banks today to go and fund themselves around the world and also to be rich and also to have billions of dollars in their pocket because you have to understand how they do it. I mean, you must understand that money is never an issue when you have a banks. I mean, when you have banks, money or as money can never be an issue because anybody who can use the bank's money to make more money can be rich. I mean, if you're unable to do that, then you need to educate yourself on financing with me and other people to understand either way that what's important is you need mentors and you need people to guide you today. For us now, every single day, if you just focus on better communicational skills, for us now, that is what you need to do with Jesus Christ every single day. And then you must understand that it's health that's more than I realize, I realize now. Health is much more important than anything else. I mean, you must understand that I'd rather have health in life than a great legacy. I mean, do you understand that? I'd rather have Jesus Christ in my life than great health. I promise you. I promise you, if you understand, I'd rather have the word I than anything else. I mean, I understand because without the word I, I promise you, this life is never possible. I promise you, this life is never even possible for me. So, you must understand that what's important is put your eye first, and then put your eye first with Jesus Christ, and then have great health, and be able to also understand how to finance yourself throughout life. I mean, never ever go working for that money that you have. I mean, make sure you understand that you can go and leverage that money right now and get yourself into debt and also understand that if you understand either way that there is no debt in life. I mean, there's no such thing as debt. I mean, you must understand that the banks will always give you a profit if you can make a profit. I mean, there's no such thing as getting yourself into debt to get real estate. Brush, there's no such thing. Because what you must understand is if you can make more money out of it, I realize, I realize there is no debt from it. I realize now, never get yourself into debt at all. I mean, never ever try to get yourself into debt. But try to go to the bank today to get a $30,000 deal where you can go and give $30,000 to somebody and make 60 grand with that money. I mean, yes, and so that's very important for you today to realize that if you can do that, I realize then you can own the world that you live. I mean, make sure you understand that what's important every single day is that many people today are going around sports events and going around people who are superstars today, for example, like Beyonce and Eminem and Anne Van Buren and all these, I mean, all these individuals like Dead Mouse and all these people who are very famous and popular. So if they came to Australia and they came somewhere, I promise you, many people will come watch it. I mean, do you understand? So what, is, so what is important every single day is understanding that if you go to the banks today and you call them up and you call their managers and you bring them over here, I promise you, many people will come and watch them. I mean, so when people are coming to watch them, I mean, you make this event around them and you're the promoter of this person. I mean, you understand? So, all right, so what you do is you get the money from the bank and you charge people at the door to see this individual. I mean, you're going to bring them over from wherever they're living to come to Australia to make a big event for you. I mean, do you understand? And then you're going to charge people at the door to see that individual that you're inviting, but you're getting the money from the bank. And now you're going to pull out a profit from this, but then you're going to give 60% of the money to the bank, but then you're going to split 40% with 20-20% each with that individual that you're inviting. And you'll pull that up, I promise you. I promise you now, if I say that you're Eminem, for example, or you're Beyonce, I invite you to Australia to make a big concert. I mean, the bank's already giving me the money. I mean, I just call you and your manager. I say, hey, I mean, I'm making a big event around you in Australia. I want you to come and do your nice, beautiful music tracks over here. I want you to understand that everything is done. I'll give you the plane ticket. I'll give you everything that you need to get here. I can fund you, and I'm going to make it next year. I mean, guess what? I mean, you guys are going to come. I mean, you're going to come to Australia because it's already for free, and you're going to have 50,000 people watching you. I then am the sale clerk over here so I make sure everybody at the door is giving me 250 bucks to see you I mean that's it because I'm the promoter I'm promoting you I'm promoting the whole event I'm using the bank's money to promote everything I mean that's it so either way I mean I make the money I realize now either way that is nice 
But what happens is, however many people give me the money on the day, with the nice beautiful returns, I get all the security guards, I get whatever there is over there in terms of whatever I need, and then I have this certain amount of money, I tax 60% of it, and I give it back to the bank. I give the loan that I did get from the bank to make the event, I give that back to the bank, and then I have 40% of the money from that bank I made, but then I give you a piece of the pie as well. I give you 20%, I keep 20%. I mean, in a sense, so a nice beautiful vocabulary of, let's say, it's $10 million to get you to the event and also to have a big stadium with a full, I mean, let, I mean, let's say the room is $10 million and you are coming in, I give you the plane tickets, I understand either way, I have a resort where I'm going to go and charge people more at the door, so I make $20 million at the door. But $10 million from that nice beautiful bank account where I went to the bank to get $10 million to fund their event. For instance, now I have $20 million, but I give, $10, I give $10 million back to the bank because that's what I did borrow the money with inside of the bank. So I understand that when I went to the bank, I get $10 million to fund their event so that you can come to the event. I understand either way from that point of view, I understand I make $20 million with you on the day and the crowd. I realize $10 million goes back to the bank because that's what I did borrow from the bank. But then 60% of that $10 million, that side of $10 million from the $20 million, is going to be going to the bank as well. So the bank is making $16 million. Here. I mean, I knew I'm going to split the 40% here, which is $4 million. So you are going to come to Sydney, Australia because I did invite you and I did promote the event, but we're going to make $2 million each. I mean, in a sense, so either way, I mean, we're profiting. I realize we have $2 million each, but the crowd all is in minus $250, for example. So let's say the doors are $250 each. I mean, me and you are making $2 million on the day, but they're going to make nothing on the day. I mean, they, I mean, they are going to be in minus door entry. And to get to the point, I realize now they have to get in the car, or else they have to go in there and have to be there eight hours to watch you, and then they have to go and do whatever they need to do, but they're going to be minus $300. I mean, me and you, I mean, I and you are going to be $2 million in plus, at least, but the bank is making all the money because they're making $16 million. But I and you will make $2 million each. I mean, they're saying, and that's how you make a profit with the bank. I mean, look at what's popular today. So what's popular today is I'm Burn and Eminem and Beyonce, and people are fam I mean, people are famous. So Oprah Winfrey, I mean, there's many people. So if I invite Oprah Winfrey today, and I say, come to my event over here, I want you at the event, I want you to host a gathering around you and your success, and I'm going to charge people the door to see you. Rosh now, either way, Rosh now, she may decline the offer. I mean, she may accept the offer. I mean, either way, if she comes, I make money on her because everybody wants to see Oprah Winfrey. I mean, do you understand? Because she's very popular. I, I go get the bank and I say, Oprah Winfrey is coming to me in this state and we're going to be at the ANZ Stadium in Sydney, Australia and there's 50,000 capacity to see her. And I charge people $200 to see her at the door. I wish that's it. I wish I make the money on the door because all of a sudden, Oprah Winfrey is coming to Sydney. I mean, I, send, I mean, guess what? I make an event page and everybody's going to see it. Russian, that's how simple it is. Now, if you understand that you have to be popular yourself in order for this to happen, but ANZ Stadium is going to already do the work for you. I mean, everybody's going to see on ANZ Stadium that Open Winfrey is coming. I mean, do you understand? So what you do is promote the event as much as you can and get other people to, I mean, get other people to go and see what you're doing. So go on the street and start giving these business cards as much as you can for free. I mean, start putting all these business cards of Oprah Winfrey on dashboards of cards as much as possible. I mean, if you just do that every single day and you just go around car parks and give your business card to people and just put on every single car out there and you just walk and do that all day long, I promise you more people are going to see you. I promise you more people will see you. I promise you it's that simple, isn't it? I promise you all though, it takes time to print those business cards, doesn't it? I promise you, although, either way, I promise you now, either way, I promise you, it's a smart strategy. 
Actually, it's a great strategy for you to be able to do that. I mean, you have to be able to promote yourself daily, and you have to understand that if somebody says that you have to evacuate your room because your room may be dirty, I mean, just say my room is never dirty because I keep it clean. Because sometimes at the reception areas, I mean, somebody may say to change rooms because somebody else didn't, I mean, because somebody else never came to your room to clean up the room. I mean, do you understand? I mean, either way, I mean, you say, hey, or else my room is already clean. I welcome people to come to my room to clean my room. I mean, why didn't they show up? I mean, that's never my problem. I realize although that everything, you have to understand, I have no problems. Or else I already have the solution though. I have the solution for that. I have no problems. Or else your problem is never my problem. I have no problems in life. I mean, understand? So what you need to understand is realize that today, more than ever before, I mean, today you can get rich really quickly if you just go and understand that you can invite all these sports teams, for example. I mean, what's your favorite sports team? I mean, you can invite that sports team and what's your enemy sports team? I mean, what, I mean, what sports team do you really dislike in life? I mean, which one do you really hate? I mean, make sure you hate no sports teams. I mean, make sure that you hate nothing in life because if you hate something, then whatever you hate has power over you. I mean, make sure you love everything. But let's say you invite two teams that you really love and that's all there is. I mean, I mean, do you understand? So Man United or Chelsea or you invite somebody who's an individual or you invite sports teams like Australia and Rugby versus New Zealand and you pack out the stadium with that sports team. I mean, you bring those two sports teams together in ANZ Stadium. I mean, you bring them together and say, hey, I'm bringing these I'm bringing these football teams to the Australian ANZ Bank, which is the Australian ANZ Stadium. Roshnell, either way, Roshnell, I'm selling a doors of ticket. Probably it's going to be a popular event. Probably people are going to understand that it's going to be a success because everybody wants to watch the Wallabies versus New Zealand, and then everybody wants to see the Haka again. I mean, do you understand? So what you realize is if you fund that event and you bring the teams together and the people will come, I promise you. Rosh, now, how do you fund that event? I mean, go to the bank and say, hey, I'm bringing New Zealand rugby team here and I'm bringing Australia rugby team here and they're going to collide. And I'm going to make an event and this is how much I'm charging at the door. I mean, this is how much capacity is inside of the stadium or else I have 50,000 people times 250 or else we're going to make some money. I mean, we're going to make some money. I make a profit from that. I mean, they're saying because I, or else I make a profit from that, I'll go to the bank and I'll say, hey, I want to make this event. I mean, if you want to make the World Cup, I mean, make the World Cup in Australia or in Africa and say, hey, I realize I want to make the World Cup over here or else I want my World Cup to be in these cities of Australia or these cities of my country and I make sure I fund all the events here. I make sure you understand either way that there's big competition out there between World Cups and sports teams and which sports team is going where. I mean, do you understand? So why is that? Because what's important is understand. I mean, never collide with those people. I mean, if you start making World Cups everywhere, I mean, imagine the World Cup soccer. I mean, imagine the FIFA out there. I mean, FIFA is the organizer. But imagine you start organizing. <laughs> I mean, imagine you start organizing FIFA around and you bring all the countries. I mean, suddenly, they are jealous of you. I mean, suddenly, they're very jealous of you. I mean, they're going to send somebody to shoot you. I mean, do you understand? So, what you do is realize to never collide with other people and what other people are doing around the planet with making money. I love that. A rush now, if you are taking all their money away from them, rush, they're going to send somebody to kill you. I mean, you must understand. So, I can make FIFA events. I can make these massive World Cups around my life. But... I can always book Australia for 2050 and I can book Africa 2054. I can make so much money from just World Cups. <laughs> but guess what? I realize if I do that, I realize somebody's going to come and kill me. I promise you. So what you do is realize this. I realize now, never collide with those people because I understand they're doing that. So I just leave that to them. I leave it to them. So what do I do? I just go and understand that, for example, I'm Van Bruen, went to Romania. And he was at the Untold Festival over there. And he's doing the solo set for 8 hours and 10 hours over there. And 50,000 people watching him. I want to send him over there again. 
I fund the event for him. I fund the event. I say, I'm Van Buren. I call his manager and I say, hey, I want you at the Untold Festival. I want you to go and make an event. I'm funding the event for you. Varsha, that's it. Varsha, now he can decline the offer. I mean, he can decline the offer and he can say, no, I can make it myself. I can make the event myself. Varsha, now, if they say that, Varsha, then, guess what? I mean, then you have no deal. I mean, in a sense, so either way, if he says yes, Varsha, then you can make money with him. Varsha, now, whatever you want, you can achieve if you understand to go where the popularity is. Varsha, now, every single day, find the popular areas of life and where it's popular and make those events around the banks. I mean, what I mean is go and get the bank's money to make those events happen every single day. Varsha, it's that simple, isn't it? Varsha, now, it's very simple to make money today if you understand how to leverage money with the bank. And if you understand every single day that you have to talk it up in your videos. So I understand that today is very important for me because I can start making music. I can build my legacy much more. But what's even more important than money itself is legacy. Rush, you make a greater legacy today because most people are making money, but they're nobodies. I mean, FIFA. I mean, who is FIFA, man? I mean, FIFA World Cups. I mean, the Soccer World Cup. I mean, who's behind that? I mean, nobody sees those people. I mean, they're all billionaires. I mean, they're all making money with the bank. But then nobody sees them in life. I mean, who are they, man? I mean, they have no great legacy. So, China, I mean, China, I mean, who are they, man? I just see Jackie Chan out there. I mean, one billion people in China, and I only ever see Jackie Chan. I see none of them popular except Trump. I only see, I only see Jackie Chan popular. And Jet Li, I promise you. And Bruce Lee. I mean, do you understand? I mean, either way, you must understand that those Asian people, are very popular but one billion people in India I mean who's popular in India man I mean you must understand either way that there are some people who are popular and they're coming to English countries and here and there but what are their names again I see Praya or something like that but I forgot her name already I mean who is she I mean who's a popular Indian individual I understand Mahatma Gandhi is very popular Russia he is popular Russia he Russia he He's more popular than all of them. I mean, in a sense, so make sure you understand that what's important is understand that it's early times. I mean, make sure you understand either way that you must also understand that when you want to go and do greater for yourself, I mean, just know your word I, and then focus on giving people more content. I mean, if you can focus on giving people more content every single day about life and about strategizing every single day and about making events around the world, but then keeping to your money, and making sure that you never lose your money in the process. So make sure if you're investing money into a certain amount of time, or you're investing money in certain places, to make sure that you're going to profit from that situation. So, I mean, how do I profit from my situations? I make sure that if I give $38 per night to stay somewhere, that's one bedroom, I do that for a reason. I do it so I can be alone, and so I can do my business much greater than being with other people. I mean, it's much better, I mean, it's much better to have your own bed than to live with other people. I mean, in a sense, so make sure you're going and giving your money much more to life itself while also going and never being bankrupt, but making sure you understand where your money is going because if you do that, then you understand your health is very important. I mean, never ever give your money to just anybody and anything. I mean, go and give your money to yourself first because you deserve it. I mean, sense, I mean go and give your money to the best areas of life that's going to increase your health and it's going to increase your money only. Russia, that's it. Russia, if you can use other people's money and then you can profit from it, Russia, that's the best deal. Russia, I can make $10,000 per hour just by borrowing from the bank 30000 I can make, for every 30000 I make, I mean, for every 30000 I borrow from the bank, I can make $10,000. I can make $40,000. I can make $45,000. For every thirty thousand I borrow, I can make fifteen thousand dollars profit. I mean, do you understand? But that fifteen thousand dollars profit is split each way with the bank. So I give sixty percent of the fifteen thousand to the bank, and I make around seven and a half thousand. I mean, just in one hour. I mean, one hour's work. I mean, what do I do in that one hour? I just give a speech for one hour, and that's it. I mean, how do I do it? I mean, I just get people who are musicians. And myself to make an event I make the event I get the musicians 
I say, I call up the event, I call up, I go to the bank first, I get the money, I call up the event, I call, I call them up, I make sure that they get the money, and then it's on. I mean, what's the date? Or is this date? And in one month time, or else we're going to organize that event. And it's going to be ready in one month time. I mean, in one month, or else I have plenty of time to get the musicians, I have plenty of time to organize that event. But what happens is, I give them 20, or else I give them 28,000 bucks, I give him twenty eight thousand dollars, and I make forty eight thousand, for example. I mean, that's it. So either way, the what's important for you every single day is noticing that you have to go and really, really love your life. I mean, love your life in a way that's going to be according to what's going to grow you. I mean, if you understand how to grow every single day, I understand I have to do this video to grow. I understand you have to do videos to grow. I mean, you have to give people ideas. I mean, if you can give people ideas and you can be famous, I'm sure it's the best. I'm not sure though, if you have all the money in the world and you have no fame, and you have all the success in the world and you have no fame, I mean, you never need the fame. I mean, if people never want to give you fame because you're so successful, I'm sure then guess what? I mean, you deserve better. I mean, they're saying because most people never want to follow you because you're just another face. I understand that. I understand that what's important is you are a unique face, but they never want to follow a unique face because guess what? I mean, they never believe in you. I mean, you grew up with them. I mean, they never believe in you because you grew up with them. I mean, although, guess what? I mean, you are going to prosper. I mean, you're going to become more famous regardless of them. And regardless of what's going on, you're going to improve your legacy regardless because it's about your legacy once again. I mean, if you understand every single day to focus on doing the most work for yourself daily and then focus on uploading as much content as possible and then also check, for example, when you're topping up your phones. I mean, when you're topping up your phones, I mean, be sure to check what number online are you topping up because just recently I made a mistake with my nice and beautiful money and I did top up my other phone and my other phone in terms of 30 bucks that I gave gave me 10 gigabytes I mean that's a mistake because I did change my number but because I did change my number or else every three times I top up I change my number the fourth time I get an extra 30 gigabytes like that I mean, the sensor for each top up I do, I make sure to make 30 gigabytes for every single time I top up. I mean, when I give $40, I make myself gain an extra 10 gigabytes. I mean, what do I mean? I mean, for example, that after three top ups with your phone, with Optus or Vodafone or Amazing in Australia, and your SIM card carrier, for example, has a certain amount of bonuses and a certain amount of information and also is going to give you something with that plan. So if I top up my Optus prepaid card three times, I mean, they're going to give me 40 gigabytes for every $30 I give for three times. I mean, after the three times on the, or else on the fourth recharge, I give $30, but they're going to give me 10 gigabytes instead of 30. So what do I do? I chuck out the, I, I get the SIM card and I throw it away. I get myself a new SIM card because I give $30, but I get an extra 10 bonus gigabytes, and I get 50 gigabytes for 20 bucks. I mean, how? Because they give me discounts. I mean, I get a new SIM card altogether, and what I do with these SIM cards is I make more money in the process. I make more money because the SIM card is 40 bucks to get 40 gigabytes, but they give me a discount, and it's 20 bucks to get 40 gigabytes. I mean, you understand? But then I just go and top up online very quickly instead of having to go to the supermarket to get a new SIM card because that's 30 minutes of my life. I mean, in a sense, so either way, I'm working quickly to understand that what you need to understand is every three recharges, get your SIM card and throw it in the bin and get yourself another one so that you can get more gigabytes and more internet. So that's why it's important for you to understand that when you're recharging your phones online, that you recharge the number that you have on your phone right now. So what I've done recently is I went to recharge my phone and I put $30 in, but I, recharge, I did recharge my other phone, which is my old number, which gives me 10 gigabytes only, when I could have gotten myself an extra 20 gigabytes with that money. I mean, in a sense, so that was a loss. I mean, that was a loss because I wasn't thinking. I was doing something else in a way that I understand that I'm never thinking other than just the word I, but I'm understanding that what's important is realize what number are you topping up before you give the money. I mean, 
top up the best number that's in your phone now so you can get the best gigabytes is what I'm saying. So every single time, focus on understanding. Now it's so important for you to realize that if somebody wants to make you wear a coronavirus mask because they're wearing it, I mean, you never have to. I mean, you never have to do it. I mean, you must understand that what's important is ask yourself the question that in terms of are they going to fine you and give you a fine for not doing it? Or are they going to kick you out? I mean, what's the deal? I mean, you must understand that what's important is asking yourself more questions so that you can go and prosper and succeed. Because if you want to have a great lifestyle today, you must be around yourself only. Or else if you're around yourself only, then you're going to learn that you have to have people around you as well who are billionaires and millionaires and also Jesus Christ the most. But then we're focusing on understanding that we need that word I. I mean, the word I is something that's going to pronounce you into this world. Rosh, now, if you have a word I, then you can go and do whatever you want. But make sure you understand that today, more than ever, I mean, there's more opportunities today than ever before. If you can just use the bank's money to go where popular areas are and to go where the popularity is and just make a profit. I mean, consciously look to make a profit with the bank's money somewhere now. I mean, try to invite somebody, like somebody who's famous, to the area so everybody can come see them so that you can profit from those people. Rosh, it's that simple. Rosh, now, every single day, that what is important is understanding that we have to talk it better and we have to make everything better for ourselves. So I'm understanding that every single day I'm focusing on a greater life and I'm focusing on making sure that I can communicate. Rosh, now when I do that, I'm always developing some area of my life and I'm making sure to always prosper and succeed as much as I can. But I'm making sure to look at my money every single day and to always focus on my financing because what's important is understanding how to move forward and how to progress throughout your life to make sure that you're going to have the best time for yourself. I mean, make sure you understand that sometimes you have to, or sometimes you have to downsize your accommodation to make more money. So if your accommodation is $50 a night, I mean, go somewhere where it's $20 a night so that you have a better time with your life. Because if you're working like a dog in a way that you're working in a way that it's an abbreviation, which is a positive abbreviation, to say that dogs are happy, although Work in a way that you're never ever puffing yourself out in a way that you're never negative. I mean, dogs are never negative, but I understand that what's amazing is be careful about how you speak because some people speak in different tones and different ways. So either ways, the tones or those tones are never something that you have to be afraid of and never be afraid of anything. But what we need to do every single day is find words of wisdom and encouragement every single day to people to help them grow. Because what's important is understanding that we never need the following. Or else what we need is to make more money. I mean, that's what we need. Or else if you can just make more money, then you can also go around the world traveling without following. I mean, I said, I mean, you never, or else you never need a following, or else you never need the following from people. I mean, you just need yourself the most. I mean, I said, I mean, what you need every single day is to focus on understanding that it's much more important to make the money than it is to have the following. I mean, you understand? Because what's important is understand this, that if you have the following now, I mean, guess what? I mean, over time, you have a great legacy, I promise you. But if that nice and beautiful legacy in terms of your life is manipulating in a way that you're doing better, I promise you, the money comes along. But what's important is understand that if other people never want to follow you, then make the money first. I mean, do you understand? Because never wait 10 years to get yourself 1 million followers. I mean, never wait that long. I mean, just go and get money if now. And that's what I'm saying. I mean, I said, I mean, when you get the more money, then you can make these massive events to have even more following. Is what I'm saying. But never ever rely on a following to make events. I mean, never rely on other people to follow you so that other people can call you to have events around the world because you're popular. They never care about you. I mean, nobody cares about you and your life unless you care about your life. I mean, they're saying, I care about your life to the extent that I can give you ideas as much as I can, but make sure you understand that what's important is nobody else is going to call you anywhere about life. I mean, they're saying, so make sure you understand that you go call yourself and give yourself a phone call. I mean, you need a friend today? I mean, give yourself a call. I mean, you need, I realize every single time, Phone the friend, which is you. 
I mean, make sure you understand that when you're making a decision, I mean, make a 50-50 decision. I mean, it's either that 50 or this 50. I mean, you understand? But make sure that it's a decision. I mean, weigh the odds. I mean, what are the odds that you're going to have success in that place? I mean, what's the percentage? And what's the percentage that you're never going to have success over here? I mean, is it better to go and do it or is it better to go and never do it? I mean, what are the chances? I mean, what is the percentage that you're going to die in a plane crash? I mean, what's the percentage that you went today into a plane to go around the world? And what's the percentage here for you to die into a plane and to die somewhere? I mean, maybe you can say 99.999%. I mean, there is a little risk. I mean, do you understand? I mean, either way, you must understand that what's important is you have eternity anyway with Jesus Christ. So make sure you're never afraid to travel and to fly places. I mean, hey, I mean, if the plane is falling right now, I mean, if your plane is falling and you're about to die, I mean, make sure you understand that you're never dying. I mean, you're just going somewhere better. I mean, you're just going to go somewhere better. So what you do is cover up and do what everybody else is doing in the plane. I mean, they're saying, I mean, jump out of the car. I mean, jump out of the car before the truck hits it. I mean, jump out of the bus before it runs over the freaking cliff. I mean, you jump out first. I mean, forget everything. I mean, forget everybody else. I mean, try to survive as much as you can. But if something happens, I mean, guess what? I mean, it's never. I mean, it's never the end of the world because Jesus Christ said so. I mean, you must understand that what's important is focusing on a greater life for yourself. So, if you can focus upon understanding on how to help people every single day, then you can understand that most people are unaware about how they treat you. I understand that people are treating you poorly today. I understand that even though you're treating yourself the best you can, a brush, a brush a day, never care about you. A brush a day, never want to see you. A brush a day, never want to be around you. I mean, they never want to chase you because you're never a superstar. I promise you that you're a superstar, but you have to believe it. I promise you, although they never believe that you're a superstar. I believe it. I believe that you are a superstar because you're watching a superstar. I mean, in a sense, so make sure you understand that if you watch superstars, then you'll be a superstar. It's that simple. So, what is the difference between me and those people that you grew up with and people in your store in terms of what is the difference between me and those people you grew up with and people in your schools and in your school and people around you and where you are living currently? I mean, what's the difference between me and them? I mean, the difference between me and them is I study more, I learn more, I have more on YouTube in terms of videos, I have more videos and content than them, I have more writing materials, I'm studying more. Then they, I'm studying. I'm studying more than they are. I can use the bank's money to make money. I can leverage myself to go into debt and make money and profit. I can travel the world and I never have to work a nine-to-five job. I mean, that's it. I'm rushing out. Those are the main differences. But also, the word "I" is the biggest difference. I have the word "I" and I'm aware of who they are. I'm aware of you and who you are. I'm aware of this world and what's going on. I have also mentors who are guiding me every single day. And I'm giving you ideas every single day on how to succeed while they are running away from you and they have no YouTube channel and they have no social media. I mean, they're overweight and obese and I'm vegan as well. I mean, in a sense, to make sure you understand, either way, I'm healthy. I'm completely healthy and I'm better than yesterday and they're yet to become that. But they never want to follow me. I mean, they never want to follow me because they think they're too good. I mean, in a sense, so what I need to do every single day is focus on my career. So when I focus on my career, I understand I can make all this money. But guess what? I mean, to what avail, man? I mean, how much? I mean, how much money do you want to make? I mean, it's more about the legacy now. I mean, forget the money. I mean, make the money. But understand, the money is going to keep going uphill. But then, how about your legacy? I mean, is your legacy going uphill? I mean, you can have all the money in the world, but how about the legacy? I mean, I mean, do you have a great legacy with the money? I mean, increase your legacy first. And then the money will come along. I mean, that's what I believe. But I understand that. I understand it. It's true. I understand that what's amazing is the more money you give in life, the more successful you are. As long as you're growing. I mean, if I understand, I never lose anything. So today, that nice and beautiful 20 bucks extra that I gave to go to internet, Russia, I made that back in other ways. I mean, how did I make that back? I make everything back in terms of all the financial losses that I've ever had in my life. I made it back. 
I realized the first 25 years of my life has been a waste. I mean, I said in some areas, I realized in some areas of life has been such a waste of my life. I mean, now, from 25, in terms of 27 years of age and 26, I brush you, I waste no time. I brush you, although still, I can still see waste of time here and there in other ways. Well, I although am picking up much more and I'm growing much more. So what's important is waste less time and do more. I mean, if you can do more and then you can focus on yourself to go and grow yourself and teach people along the way, Russia, now you're a superstar. I mean, you're a superstar if you can teach people and you have a business card and you can promote yourself and you can sell people and you can do whatever you want every single day. But I'm doing, make, I'm doing and I'm making sure that I'm doing far more than everybody else online every single day. So what I'm doing online every single day is I have three social medias, really. And my social medias are just making sure they understand. That I have Mega Drive and Instagram, I have Instagram and YouTube. I mean, my main social media is my Mega Drive because that's all the content I have about I. I understand that every single time I just upload everything else into YouTube and Instagram and all other social medias here and there. I mean, in a sense, to so make sure you understand, and what's important is keep your money for yourself and then go and focus on making much more money with the bank's money. And then focus on understanding on how to do that daily. And then plan on video as you go along daily. And teach people every single day how to do it. And then eventually you're going to do it. And then people are going to watch you and how you did it. I mean, when I say how it's done, I promise you that's how it's done. Promise now, every single day you must understand that what's important is always learn more than that. Always learn what I'm talking about. I'm learning new ideas. I'm learning and I'm growing along the way to be the best version of myself every single day. Because I have to be alone to go and explore something I've never done and to make sure I'm always growing in Jesus Christ's name. I'll make sure every single day I'm going to focus the best I can to go and grow everybody around because that's what you need to do. I realize you need to be able to go and grow people. So if you grow people every single day and then you go and really prosper with everybody around you, then you're going to have friends and you're going to have relationships and whatever you want in life because you're growing. I mean, growing people is the best business. I mean, in a sense, so what am I doing here? I'm growing you. I'm growing ideas within you. I'm making sure that I'm giving you everything that I can in terms of all the ideas out there to make sure I can go and spoil you with the, or I'm spoiling you right now with ideas. I'm making sure that you understand that every, I mean, every single chapter or every single video that you watch from me is a chapter of my book. I mean, in a sense, to so make sure you understand that when I grow daily, I grow in different ways. I'm making sure that no matter what, that my life is lifting up daily. So I'm planning along the way in a video, my life. And then you can see how I'm becoming a billionaire. I mean, you can see that I'm already a billionaire. I'm already a multi-billionaire in this lifetime. I'm making sure you understand I have everything already. So what I need to do daily is just focus on growing and focus on getting up in front of a crowd and improving my skills. And that's it. Rosh, now, if you understand, I'm having so much fun today. I'm having so much success, but people never believe me. I mean, people never believe that I have so much success. I mean, just look at my online profiles. I mean, look at my YouTube. I mean, look at my Instagram. I mean, if you can go and do that, if, I mean, go and do it yourself. I mean, then you're going to understand my success. I mean, many people see thousands of photos on my Instagram, but they never believe anything of that. I mean, they say that's nothing. I mean, they have 14 photos of themselves on Instagram, and they call my 15,000 photos and more nothing. I mean, in the sense of what you need to realize is as soon as they go and do 15,000 photos of themselves and put on Instagram, then they're going to understand Danny Milovojevic. I mean, go and fashion photo yourself somewhere. I mean, go and create 16,000 photos of yourself and you're going to understand who Danny Milovojevic is. I mean, you're going to understand who Danny Milovojevic is when you go and create 800 hours of communicational skills online and more. So never be afraid to do anything in life. I mean, make sure you understand that I go and put myself in front of the spotlight as much as I can so that I can succeed as much as I can. Or else what's important is always check your temperature and always be touching your hands and your nice and beautiful arms and everything so you, you touch your shoulder and make sure you're touching your forehead as well so you can check out your temperature because when you have a fan in the room and it's blowing and blowing and blowing, I promise you eventually the wind blows on you and when the wind is so much blowing on you, I mean that's when you get a running nose. I mean, that's in. So never be around windows or around places where it's windy. So just the other day, 
I was in Newcastle, Australia, and I was in this aisle right next to a car park somewhere, and it was just blowing wind on me for one hour. I mean, the worst time I had. I had the worst time, but I was learning in the process something, but it's because the wind just penetrated me. I mean, it did penetrate me, really. I mean, it really did penetrate me in a way that I was getting sick. I was getting sick. I mean, imagine wind is blowing on your head for thousands of hours. I mean, do you understand what that means? I mean, I felt dreadful. I felt, I started to, I was starting to cry. I did start to cry. I was crying. I was unable to move. How much pressure that wind gave me. I mean, it's like a hammer on the head, man. I mean, I mean, when you get a hammer and you slap it on your head, I mean, that's how I feel. I mean, that's how I felt because of the wind blowing on me. I felt paralysis. I mean, the wind does it to you. I mean, you understand? So, if you just go and sit in the wind for 24 hours and it's blowing on you, I mean, you're going to understand paralyzing. I mean, you're going to understand what paralyzing is. I mean, it feels paralyzing. I mean, you understand? I mean, it means that if you paralyze yourself, I mean, never paralyze yourself, but understand that paralysis, I mean, you can get paralysis from the wind. I mean, when the wind's blowing on you, and it's blowing on you, and it's blowing on you, and it's blowing on you, but you just want to run somewhere else because it's so cold. I mean, it's like a hammer's hitting you in the head. I mean, imagine you go to Antarctica and take off all your clothing and the wind's going to blow on you. I mean, imagine how you feel. <laughs> I mean, do you understand? But yes, I felt like this in the sun, I mean, the sunny day. I mean, it's a sunny day, but the wind's blowing on me. I felt like I was in Antarctica with no clothes on. I mean, imagine how it is in the water where it's all ice cold. I mean, it's like a hammer's hitting you, mate. I mean, do you understand? I mean, imagine when you're in the volcano and you jump in the volcano. I mean, imagine the pain. I mean, guess what? I mean, nobody can feel pain in this lifetime. I mean, pain is an illusion. I mean, physical sickness is an illusion of this life. I mean, you must understand that what's important is you can never get physically sick. And you can never ever do anything other than grow in this lifetime. I mean, how do I say that? Because the word I can never get physically sick. I mean, the word I, or else, when you look at the word I, I mean, go and draw, I mean, go and get yourself some paper and just draw the word I on the paper. I mean, how can that word I get physically sick? I mean, it's impossible. I mean, it's impossible for the word I to get sick. I mean, do you understand that? I mean, I mean, if you see that word I, I mean, is it positive or is it negative? I mean, what is the word I? I mean, go and draw it right now and just say, and look at the word I. I mean, is the word I positive? Or is it negative? I mean, what do you believe? I say it's positive. I mean, is the word I able to kill you? I understand that the word I can never kill I. I understand the word I can never kill anybody. I mean, how about the word I in terms of can I, or can the word I get everything? I mean, guess what? I realize the word I can get anything you want. I mean, why is that? Because that's a positive talk, isn't it? I mean, the word I, or else that word I can drag. I mean, that word I can attract anything. I mean, if you focus every single day on just that word I, and then you understand that you can be in water, and in freezing cold water, and just be in your word I, and you can just be there, and you'll never die. I mean, if you want to go and deep breathe, and go into the ocean, and go and travel 10 kilometers down, I mean, I promise you that you can, with the word I. I mean, you can hold your breath with the word I, I promise you. I mean, you can overcome masturbation and pornography, and anything you ever want in life with the word I. I'm, I'm never saying that pornography is bad. I mean, the, I mean, God said the world is good. I mean, you must understand that anybody can watch pornography and it's good. I mean, it's never going to hurt you. I mean, nothing is going to hurt you in this planet more than anything that's never the word I. I mean, success will hurt you far more than the word I will. I mean, you understand? Because it's I over success. I mean, never ever pick positivity. I mean, pick the word I instead of positivity. I mean, never pick the word negativity. I mean, never pick the word failure. I mean, pick the word I only. I mean, if you understand every single day that what's important is your word I, 
then you can understand how to grow. So focus on understanding that if you want to go around the world and you want to travel and you want to make sure that you have everything in your life, I mean, focus on making a profit with the bank. I mean, make sure you understand that's the fastest way to make finances today. I mean, the fastest way to becoming a millionaire is understand that there is no risk with the banks. I said that when there's no risk, rushing out, either way, you make money. I mean, you make money. I mean, you never lose money in life. I mean, there's no such thing as losing money. I mean, find a proposition. I mean, find I, I mean, find an idea which is a proposition. I mean, a business idea is a proposition. I mean, find yourself in ways where you can go and connect with people, to go and get some money, to go and really, really be abundant with yourself. Because if you're unable to go to the bank today, it's because you lack skills. I mean, you need to go and really, really understand my way of life. And go and learn from Grant Cardone and other people as well. But I understand that what's important is having many mentors in life is going to teach you. I mean, have many mentors. I have all these mentors, man. I surround myself with everybody I can who's successful. I want to understand what everybody's doing. I never just want to understand what you're doing. I want to understand the other 50 billion millionaires out there. I mean, do you understand? I want to make sure that here in Australia now, and in the world, or else there's only 36 million millionaires. But I want to understand how they build life. I mean, you're saying because they are far more successful with more financing than anybody else. I mean, there's answer what you need to realize is get yourself around people who have more money and who have more, or else, and get yourself around people who have more of a life and who are more successful in their legacies. I mean, I understand, for example, I see many people on the planet, but the first thing I look at when I look at them is do they have a great legacy? I mean, do they have a great legacy? Because I understand the word I. I realize that's the first thing I look at. I mean, do they have the word I on Or else, do they have the word I or are they missing the word I? Or else, if they have a word I, I mean, how big is their legacy then? I mean, the word I is much more important than anything else. I mean, make sure you understand that the first thing I look at at people, or else at people, I mean, the first thing I look at in terms of people is how big is their word I? Because if there's somebody big in the word I, Russia, it's because they have a great legacy. I mean, in a sense, so people are just hyping it up. I mean, some people who are music producers, I mean, they're doing whatever they can to succeed. I mean, you must understand. But then when I look at the legacy between them, Russia, I see these other guys are far more greater in legacy than this individual. But this individual is getting more successful. I understand. I mean, guess what? I mean, either way, you must understand that what's important is look at the crowd and who has the greatest legacy in that crowd amongst you right now. I mean, which one of them right now has a greater legacy than you? I mean, focus on understanding that if there's somebody in the crowd who has a greater legacy than you, then guess what? I mean, you have to raise your standards. I mean, do you understand? I mean, I mean, guess what? I mean, you have to let yourself go here and let them be greater than you. I mean, let them be greater than you. But understand that what's important is learn from them. I mean, learn from those people who are great legacies. I mean, learn from everybody around you as much as you can and absorb the information around you as much as you can. But get yourself to the point of thinking strategies around the banks and around profiting with the bank's money. And if you can just go and write all day long about how to make events and make it around the banks today and how to pull a profit with the popularity around town and where people go with the events with the bank, Russia, that's your key to success. Russia, if you're listening today, of course you have to do it yourself. I mean, there's no chance in hell that anybody else is going to do it for you. I mean, you must understand that if you want to become a billionaire, I mean, you have to do it yourself. I mean, there's no chance that anybody else is going to walk your shoes in your career and nobody else is going to go and walk your legacy for you. I mean, in a sense, to make sure you understand that what's important is understanding that and then go and grow with that. And then understand that, yes, or else they are going to have the money and they're going to have the woman and they're going to have the men and they're going to have sex and orgies and they're going to do whatever it takes or else they're going to, I mean, they are going to do whatever it takes to have a great legacy and they're going to go and have a Ferrari and they're going to go holidays and they're going to go everywhere, man. I'm talking about the crowd. I'm talking about everything. I mean, I said, I mean, they're going to have whatever it takes. I mean, go and make your life. I mean, never be jealous of those people. 
I understand that I have more women than me, man. I understand. I understand that I have more sex than me. I understand that. I'm happier anyway. I never want to chase their woman anyway. I never want to train my life for them. I'm happier. I'm a big deal. I mean, a guy has a Ferrari. I have my word eye. I have my face. Or else my face is much better than a Ferrari. I mean, my face is much better than that hot woman. I mean, where's your confidence, man? I mean, I say, I mean, where's your confidence? I mean, understand either way that what's important is focus on understanding that you never ever be jealous of other people, but look into them. I mean, look into them. I mean, what are you jealous about them for? I mean, what? I mean, what is it? I mean, he has a woman. I mean, he has a man. I mean, what? I mean, what is it? I mean, they have a six pack. I mean, what else? I mean, what else is it? I mean, what are you jealous about? I mean, dig in deep and ask yourself these questions. I mean, what is it really about them? I mean, is that what you want? I mean, you want that? I mean, you want what they have? I mean, how are you going to get it? I mean, how are you going to work for it? I mean, how are you going to go and do what they did to get that? I mean, how are you going to learn from that individual now? I mean, how are you going to start admiring that? I mean, how are you going to open up to yourself in a way that you're going to say, Hey, I understand that guy now. I understand how I was. I was looking at him in a hateful way because of the six pack. I mean, now since I understand that, I understand the guy's working for it, man. I mean, the sense of what you need to realize is go and find yourself in places where you can go and live a life to the fullest and making sure that you're going to go and grow yourself the best way you can. Because many women today and many men just search for money. I mean, they're just going for money. I mean, never go for the money, but find yourself a woman or a man who has the money already. I mean, in a sense, so these women around town, I never look for them. I never look for them. I look for the women who have money already. I'll go for those women because they are at least going to go for I and never going for my money. I mean, a poor woman will just go for your money. I mean, they'll never go for your heart. I mean, a rich woman already has the money, but she'll go for you. I mean, rich men, I mean, rich men find women who have already money. I mean, rich women already find men and only find men who have already money. I mean, never go for people who have never money because they'll just go for you because of the money. I mean, listen, that's because they have small mindsets. I'm rushing out that if you talk to people online and they never ever appreciate you, I mean, guess what? I mean, you never need them to appreciate you. I mean, guess what? I mean, your self-esteem can grow if you understand how to grow your words. I mean, growing words is everything when you understand how you live your life. So focus on understanding how you can go and really dwell upon the better life for yourself. But today I'm very happy. I'm very happy with myself. I've been reading for seven years. I've been coaching myself. I've been doing videos. I've been really, really supporting myself in a way that I've never done before. I've been traveling around the world. I left my parents' house. I'm single. I'm looking greater than ever. I'm a vegan. I overcame all my obstacles. I, came, I overcame all, all my obstacles. And now I'm overcoming even more obstacles that I've never done before. But I'm moving quickly. I'm in front of crowds now. I mean, all of a sudden, I mean, what's going on? I mean, 10 years ago, I was so scared to do that. I mean, now I can step up in front of thousands of people and speak in front of them. I mean, it just feels good. I'm happier. I understand I can make money like that. I can make money now. I can make $7,500 in one night. I mean, if you've never done that before, I mean, you may look at $7,500 as something small in money. But have you ever made $7,500 in one day? I mean, have you ever made $7,000 in one hour? I can make it in one hour. I mean, I understand there are a million dollars out there. I understand there is millions of dollars out there. But have you ever made even $7,000 per hour? I mean, you understand? I mean, some people make $1 million per hour. I mean, how, man? I mean, they just make it because they use the bank's money. I mean, they use the bank's money, man. I mean, they never work for the money, man. I mean, they find business deals. I mean, they go around the world and say, where? I mean, they say, where is the popularity around the world? I mean, where is it popular? I want to make those events again and again and again. I want to be the first one to make those events now. 
I mean, if you have a nice, beautiful festival going around your country, I mean, go and be the promoter of that festival now. And use the bank's money. I mean, go where the popularity is and use the bank's money to make those events and those people come true again. I mean, bring other people there with the bank's money and make a profit on them. And that's it. Question now, yes, or else you may make a profit, but are you making a great legacy? I mean, what am I doing here? I mean, I mean, is this for money or is it for a great legacy? I mean, this is for a great legacy. I mean, this is just for word. I mean, this is just for the word I. I'm making sure you understand either way. I'm here to support you. I'm here to grow. I'm here to make sure that everybody is going to have all the money they, they need every single day. But if you focus on understanding the, the nice and beautiful ways of understanding what's coming ahead of you every single day, it's focus on where is your money going and why is it going there. Because you have to understand every single day to be on top of your financing right now. I mean, be on top of your financing and see exactly what you need to do to succeed from this point because money changes quickly. I mean, money changes quickly. I mean, you may have $700 in two fortnights and you might have for 14 days, you may have a certain amount of money. But then that money runs out quickly. I mean, it can run out quickly. I mean, they're saying, although, guess what? I mean, if you realize if it runs out quickly, I mean, make sure you're investing in the best places. But what I do now is I realize that for any money I have now, I can get it back. I can get that money back. I can get myself into debt and I can make an outcome of a profit right away. I mean, how do I make a profit? I make videos, man. I make my legacy. I get, I, I mean, I realize money. I mean, money can always be made. I mean, money can always be made. So I just have to sneak. But money is made easily. I mean, I mean it's easy to make money. I mean, how about doing a one-hour video for yourself like this? I mean, that's different. I mean, that's more legacy than money. I mean, you have to understand that what's important is I'm generous. Or as there's no wife around, or there's no kids around, but that's how I love it. I have peace and quiet, man. I mean, there's no mother around babbling. I mean, there's no father around, except I. I mean, there's no biological mother and father around. I mean, there's no biological family around there. I peace and quiet. I mean, there's no kids. Wah. See, wah. I mean, there's no kids around me. I'm enjoying it. I'm having a peace and blissful time with myself. And what? I mean, they're having sex. I have peace and quiet. I never have to have sex. I mean, that individual has to go have sex. I never even have to do that. I mean, in a sense, of what's important is focus on understanding that other people are chasing women, man, or men, and they cannot wait for the weekend. I was like that. I was unable to live my life from Monday to Friday, but Friday night is what I was living for, and Saturday night and Sunday night. I was living for those days. I mean, where was I going on those days? I was going and doing drugs, I was going to nightclubs, I was going and chasing women. I mean, just those three. I was playing poker, I was gambling, I was drinking alcohol, I mean, nothing else to do. I mean, it's one of those four. I mean, it's either chasing women, or doing drugs, or playing poker. I mean, you understand? Know I mean, that's it. I mean, there's nothing else to do. I mean, I was hanging around with friends. I mean, what kind of friends, man? I mean, where are they? I mean, where are they now? I mean, they run. A, I mean, they around people who never want to be great. I chose to be great, and they hate me for it. I say, oh well. I mean, guess what? I mean, every single day they're watching me now. I mean, I mean, people from the past are watching me now. I'm a superstar. I'm a superstar. So make sure you understand that what's important is focus on a greater life for yourself, so you can understand how to talk and how to be popular with yourself. I mean, make sure every single day that you're going to focus on hiring people to do a video shoot for you because you have the money. I mean, how, man? I mean, go get, I mean, go get it from the bank. I mean, guess what? I mean, you have all the money at the bank. I mean, you never go 9 to 5 working for the money. I mean, get the money at the bank right now. I mean, how, man? I mean, go and find a business deal somewhere where you can make a profit right now. I mean, where can you find a profit right now? I mean, are you able to make a profit? I mean, it has to be yes. I mean, you have to be able to make a profit if you have to go to the bank. 
I mean, never go to the bank to get a debt. I mean, I, I was going to the bank to get debt before. I went to the bank and I get I, I realized I did get myself a five thousand dollar loan. And what did I do with it? I went and I put it into a holiday somewhere. I went on a holiday. I was then two years I was working to re repay that money. I was working a nine to five job. I mean, guess what? I mean, what you do is realize. Never work a nine to five job and never waste your life like that. I understand I made mistakes, but realize this. I realize that what you need to realize every single day is focus on understanding that you have much of a greater life ahead of you all the time if you just focus on the great things of life. I mean, focus on greatness. I mean, focus on great people. I mean, grow yourself every single day and focus on the great books out there to teach you something. I mean, go and learn as much as you can every single day and then focus on being great. I mean, is it, I mean, is that, I mean, is it that simple? Or it's the simplest way to say everything. I mean, if you can go around the world and you can travel and you can be popular and you can make sure every single day that you're going to go and be who you can be. I mean, that's the best way. I mean, the best way is making sure that you're going to increase your legacy today and that you're going to do far more than everybody else. I mean, that's all I want you to do. I just want you to be able to go every single day into accountability and making sure you're going to grow people. I mean, just make sure you're focusing on being funnier, for example. So when I'm funnier, I'm making sure that I want to be a wannabe of you. I want to be like a wannabe. I want to be somebody who acts like below you or something like that. I want to ask you, that. Where did, I mean, where did you get your shoes, man? I really admire them. Where are my these shoes, man? I really, I really admire these shoes. I mean, how did you tie your shoelace? I mean, how did you tie your shoelace? I want to understand. I mean, show me, please. I mean, please, boss. I mean, I mean, call yourself. I mean, call them boss as well. I mean, please, I mean, show me your pants as well. I mean, what do you have in your general routine? I mean, guess what? I mean, either way, I mean, yeah, I mean, what do you have in your general tools as well? well I want to see. <laughs> I mean, you understand? I mean, guess what? I mean, it's very funny, yeah? But at least, I mean, if you just admire like this, I mean, you make some friends as well. I mean, I mean you make some friends. <laughs> I mean, focus on understanding. I can be very funny like this. But what's amazing is focusing, If I mean, focus on understanding on how to admire people. I mean, if you can admire everybody around you, I mean, then you can always have friends around you. I mean, you can always have friends when you admire people. I mean, in a sense, so understand God admires you as well. I mean, you must understand, God admires everybody. I mean, God admires you and everybody. I mean, God came to you first and says, you deserve me. I mean, you deserve eternity. I mean, in a sense, so make sure you understand either way that what's important is focus on growing everybody around you so that you can go and become a star and a big fashion guru and whatever you want to be, but look at what I do every single day. I'm always focusing on a greater way of life, but I'm focusing to stay on task every single day, and I'm focusing to go and really, really pronounce myself much better, because I understand that what's important is understanding every single day to focus on what you're trying to do. I mean, focus on understanding that there's always more to say, but focus on understanding that there's always other videos that you can do within it. I mean, you can always do these videos in other videos. I mean, you can always do content in other videos. So make sure you go and prosper every single day and then become a star.